So hello, Peter. Happy President's Day. You too. And, Everybody's uh, too. Did you do anything good today? Uh, nothing special. Okay. I went for dim sum at a new restaurant. So it was really good. I have to, we have to go. Okay. okay. So today we're going to do a special uh, President's Day quiz. Uh, this week I'm going to be putting out four uh, quizzes uh, in honor of President's Day. So right now we're going to do a uh, a, a very simple quiz based on the N-400, George Washington and the Constitution. And then we're mm -hmm. going to move on to some special questions for 22222. Two, two, two. Okay? Okay. Okay. So what is your full name? My full name is Nan Chun Yuan. Very good. What is your date of birth? Uh, February 21, 1951. What is your country of birth? Uh, Taiwan. Taiwan. Okay, what is your address? Okay, uh, 22 Main Street, Santa Clara, uh, California, 95050. Do you work? I retire. Have you traveled outside the United States? Uh, yes, I did. Have, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes, I have one child. Have you ever been arrested? Uh, no, never. And do you support the Constitution? Yes. I do. Good. So very good. So that's the first part of the quiz based on the N-400. Now we're going to move on to the section about George Washington and the U.S. Constitution. What okay. is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Set up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Very good. Okay, now we're going to move in a little bit more. Name one branch or part of the government. Uh, executive uh, branch. Yes, that's the part that the president belongs to. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Very good. When was the Constitution written? Uh, 1987. 1787. 1787. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Good. George Washington. And everybody knows what the next question is. Who was the first president? Uh, George Washington. Good. Name one state that borders Canada. Hmm. Virginia or Washington? Washington. Yeah, Washington. Very good. And what is the capital of the United States? Uh, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. So those are really simple questions in honor of President's Day. And later on this week, we're going to have a quiz for our Lincoln. Okay, now let's go on to a little bit more difficult practice. So mm -hmm. this one is Series E. So they're going to, we're going to use special topics from the N-400 Part 12. Explain how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. Uh, I have been a legal permanent resident for five years. What is your full name? Uh, Nan Chun Yuan. What is your date of birth? October 27, 1951. Okay. How do you financially support yourself? I'm retired. Have you I spent... have a saving, yeah. Oh, you have savings, yes. Uh, have you spent any time outside of the U.S.? Uh, yes, I lived the last, last time is uh, 
uh, January 6, 2020, and I return back is February 25, 2020. Good. Now we're going to move on to part 12. Uh, have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Uh, no. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? No. What is register? Uh, to put your name and the person information a list of the person who can vote. What is uh, vote? Uh, is choice a new leader or law? Have you ever voted in any U.S. elections? Uh, no. Did you vote in Taiwan? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? Uh, no, never. Do you owe any taxes? Uh, no, never. What is owe? Uh, owe mean I must pay the government money. Okay, and what are taxes? Tax are money for the uh, government. The government uses tax money to pay for the com uh, government, military, health care, and the school. Do you pay your taxes every year? Yes, I pay my taxes every year. Good. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the last uh, four questions. Do you support the constitution and the form of government of the United States? Uh, yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Uh, yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the United States Army? Yeah, yeah. And are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Army? Uh, yes. Do you promise everything that you said is true? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. So now we're going to move on to civics questions. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult. So you're going to name two or more. Okay. Okay. So what are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and the liberty. What are two parts of U.S. Congress? Uh, Senate and the uh, representative, House yeah, of I'll, Representative. Yes, okay. Uh, what are two cabinet level positions? Uh, Secretary of the State, Secretary of the uh, Education. What are two major political parties in the United States? Uh, Democratic and the Republic. Okay, what are two rights of everyone living in the United States? A life and the liberty. No. What are what to write everyone live? Yeah. Uh, freedom of speech and the freedom of religion. Yeah, so that's okay. What are two ways Americans can participate in their democracy? Um, vote and the run for the office. Okay, now this is more than two, all right? So there were 13 original states, name three. New Hampshire, New York, and the New Jersey. And name two national U.S. holidays. New Year and the Christmas. Okay, very good. So... That's it for uh, for President's Day and also for uh, two 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 zero two two two. So anyway, okay. thanks a lot. Bye bye. Two oh two oh. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye, -bye. Thank you.